hello and welcome back to saving with danielle i'm at walmart to tackle some rebates okay now i'm standing in front of the clearance you guys now i have a bonus i need a total of 15 rebates to hit my bonus of three dollars okay they're changing it up on me but it's all good we're gonna still do the best we can and be positive <laughs> now I don't have an Ibotta rebate for it, but look at these. Five star notebooks. Look at this. Mm-hmm. 75 cent. Mm, 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 mm. The kids in my neighborhood about to be happy. Well, I don't know they're going to be happy, but they about to get some notebooks. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm about to grab a few. I'm going to grab some for my baby, too, because, you know, she thinks she be doing something. When we go to the grocery store, she be trying to make her list, asking us how to spell groceries and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, I thought we had a rebate for this, but we don't. But it's on clearance. Good price. But yeah. We got this, but it's high price. But Shopkick got some um, kicks. I think like 500, maybe even 700 kicks when you purchase one of these. But it ain't going to work for me because you see that price. Look at the Gerber food. I, I think we got some coupons for these. But nobody I know use these eat these kids you eat these so i'm not going to waste my time <laughs> toothpaste price said four dollars and 47 cents we have a two dollar digital from our pngs two dollar printable from our pngs i bought us giving back a dollar i'm sorry two dollars which would make it 47 cents for the no the febreze you guys which one am i gonna get <laughs> now this this febreze right here with the refill and i mean with the um plug-in in there $6.94 now we have a $3 off one coupon now mine it says I can't use a coupon so if you were to get it it's $6.94 and I bought to give you back $3 making your final cost um, $2.94 okay I'm sorry no $3.94 okay now um, I also have a rebate for the double pack here and on on that one i don't actually have that restriction on there but i don't know how some of them do and some of them don't but yeah and it's priced at ten dollars well actually it's priced at nine dollars and 94 cents okay and i used a five dollar off one coupon let me get it in my stash real quick y'all i'm trying to do this on okay. one hand hold on here's the five dollar off one coupon i bought us giving back my rebate is three dollars so it'll still be a dollar and 94 cent for me and the small space, I have a $2 rebate for that. And we have a $2 coupon here. I bought us giving back $2, making it free, plus a three cent money maker. Plug-in right here is priced at, what, 44? We have a 250 coupon. I bought us giving back 250, so it's gonna make it 44 cent, okay? And it's my understanding that $5 coupon is glitching and scanning for these as well, so. But yes, and I'm also gonna pick up a Glade warmer, warmer here on. for a dollar and 78 cent and i bought it's going to give us back a dollar and 50 cent making my final cost 28 cent okay pick up this snuggle again i'm going to pick up one of these and i'm also going to pick up one of these okay they're priced at four dollars and 77 cent and we got a dollar 50 coupon shopkick is giving back 700 kicks which is two dollars and 80 cent which is going to bring my final cost to be 47 cent for the bottle so I'm going to grab one of each all okay. for two dollars and forty three dollars and forty seven cent and I bought us giving back two so it'll make it a dollar and forty seven cents. So I'm going Yes, to grab I'm grabbing it again. It's priced at three dollars and eighty eight cent. And I bought us giving us back three dollars, making it eighty eight cent. I was pleasantly surprised when I tasted this. They were good. Okay. And I only ate one. So right. yeah. The cereal here. I'm actually picking up this one right here. It's priced at one dollar. And I bought it's gonna give us back 50 cents, making it only 50 cents, so I'm gonna grab it. Mm -hmm. The tea here is priced at $1.18. I bought it's giving back 60 cents. So that's gonna bring my final cost to be 58 cents. So I'm gonna grab it. But listen, y'all gotta pay attention because I scan all the leads, all of them, and the only one that's attaching is this one right here. Um, I couldn't find a traditional iced tea with lemon. That's the one I would prefer. But 
I guess somebody already beat me to the punch, but There's I'm gonna keep looking. another area where they have more, but none of these are attaching. So I guess I'm stuck with the one I got. <laughs> it's all good though. Now the Olay here, the travel size is attaching to the dollar rebate. When you purchase two, you have to pick up two of these. My store don't have two of them. So I'm just going to put that back. Okay. But if you're wanting to try to get your rebates, just pick up two of these and then attach to the dollar rebate. It's a dollar ninety seven cent each, so I'm not gonna get it. I'm not. And the mouthwash here for a dollar ninety seven cent is attaching to the one dollar I bought a rebate. Okay, making it only ninety seven cents, so I picked that up. Now here's everything that I picked up in my trip today at Walmart. Now I had a few issues, you guys. I had I had issues. Now the Febreze. When I originally picked up the three that you see here, it did not specify I needed to use a coupon it did not have that verbiage in the rebate but when I submitted my receipt after using coupons I did not get the rebate so I just returned it and purchased it again without using coupons okay when I returned the item she gave me my full credit back on a gift card including the coupon money so I returned it and um repurchased them I don't know why this is occurring. I mean, I thought maybe I bought a fixed it because when I went to Target this past weekend and I purchased a few things there, I, I posted it on my tab on my, um, I did a short video of it. When I um, submitted my receipt to Ibotta, it took a couple of days, but it processed. Although I used coupons and because the rebates that the, on those particular rebates, it didn't specify that I had to use, I couldn't use coupons, but for whatever reason, the, the, the toothpaste, the Febreze, anything I used the coupon on did not immediately go through. So I just returned it and submitted my receipt. Okay. Now also I picked up the washing machine cleaner again and, um, I end up returning that to Walmart without a receipt because I thought I had a $2 rebate on coupons.com. Um, but it turns out, um, it turns out that, um, I don't have one out there. I guess they removed it. So I just returned that to Walmart without a receipt because I've already submitted my receipt to Ibotta. So yes, that was that. Um, I'm trying to think, was there any other issues that I ran into? That was all. Um, um, let me show you my receipts, um, and then we'll get to the breakdown. Okay, so here is one of my receipts here. Now, on this one, I was intending to get the Febreze with the um, plug-in. However, I can't use a coupon, so I kept having to have her avoid it, so we just took it off. And here is the next receipt right here. Um, this is with me using coupons for the Febreze and, this, and the... Um, Febreze, yeah, for the Febreze. <laughs> and here is my next receipt right here with the um, Burt's Bees um, toothpaste and another one of the um, Febreze. Now, this is for the Crest mouthwash, and this is for when I did pick up the Febreze. I did everything on one transaction without using coupons. Now, here's the return receipts here. Got 16 back. Got 877 and I got 857. And remember, one of these is for the washing machine cleaner that I returned because I didn't have the $2 um, rebate on coupons.com. Now, for everything you see here, I paid a total of $31.45. That's, that's including the refunds that I had to do, you know, everything that I had to go through. <laughs> $31.45, okay? Now, I received back from Ibotta a total of, let's see, $26.10, which included my midweek bonus of $3, okay? I got back a total from Ibotta of $26.10. I still have it pending with Shopkick, but I submitted my receipt for a total of 700 kicks, which is $6.80, for the Sensodyne, I don't know if I showed you guys that. The Sensodyne, I got it from the trial and travel size. It's a dollar and fifty cent. I bought it, it's giving back a dollar, and Shopkick is giving back three hundred kicks. So, and for the Snuggle, so I have a total of seventeen hundred um, kicks, which is six dollars and eighty cents. So that gives me a total of thirty-two dollars and ninety cent back in rebates. 
okay? Making everything you see here completely free, okay? Plus a $1.45 money maker. Um, so yes, this is everything that I picked up in my trip today at Walmart. It was a long day. I spent more time than I would have wanted at Walmart today. Um, now quick tip now in the future, I'm going to stop. Um, well, I, this is what I'm telling myself. I'm thinking that if I continue to purchase things at Walmart that doesn't have the verbiage that prevents us from being able to use a paper coupon, I'm going to start taking screenshots of the actual rebate. So if, and when I bought a rejects my um, receipt or don't, you know, if I'm not granted the um, rebate, rewarded the money from the rebates, then I will create a ticket and um, I will create a ticket and then attach those screenshots so that they can see that because it's very inconsistent and it's kind of, it's very confusing because, you know, I'm trying to follow the rules. And then when I um, see an offer that doesn't exclude coupons and trying to take advantage of the deal, it's not processing through. And I see some people, you know, some of my friends on YouTube, YouTube content creators who doesn't seem to have that issue. And I'm like, what are y'all doing different? What am I doing wrong? But I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping they get that squared away soon. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to take a, um, I'm, I mean, recently I had to submit a ticket for something else. I'm thinking I'm going to piggyback on there with a, just a drive by question and, and see what type of response I get, because I really want to, you know, know what, you know, maybe they're still in the process of trying to weed through how to identify whether or not you use it, you know, whether or not this offer has coupon. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to make any excuses, but yeah, that's been my struggle. So it's been easier for me just to, when I purchase it and I notice that just to return it and then go back and purchase it again with that gift card that I received back. Um, yeah, but I don't want to keep rambling on. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.